stop. In the name of the law, son. My surname's Lawson. <laughs> Welcome back to Stephen Tries Less, the greatest channel in the world. Mm, guten Tag. I'm saying guten Tag to today's guest. Get in here. Hey, big lock, back on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with this? Um, I, it fell Come off on. when you made me bend down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of which, today's video is six straight men versus one secret gay man. <laughs> I've seen this video before, and the gay man really comes out on top. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We did this the other week, where we did some detective work to work out who was the odd one out. Today, we are continuing that, because last time, they, they smashed the like target of 300,000 likes. Thank you, people. Thank you. The first time a video's got more likes than views, but you did it. Nailed it. And I appreciate it. Today's video, I am, of course, the detective. The great detective at that. Do you like a detective? You look like a suspect. <laughs> in the series called Odd Man Out, calling the gay person an odd man. Master out, not cool jubilee. Anyway, let's see what's going on. We brought together seven straight men. I'm straight. I am a straight man. I'm straight. I'm a straight man. So we're going to do the usual thing of first instincts. Do you have right. a gay dar? Yeah, I mean, I know. How is yeah. he? Is he having a good time? Yeah, he's now good. Now he's left your mum. <laughs> Stop, does it? <laughs> it's constant. Your dad. Constant. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me now. One is a liar. One of them's f***ing lying. Yeah. In I... bed with other men. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned, more comedy coming up. Go on, Ryan, give them some... So we can say coming up later, and then it's, it's this okay. clip. Coming up later. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> He's gay. I'm straight. I am a straight man. I'm straight. I am a straight man. This Jason is the one that you've been... Yeah. I'm straight. I'm a straight man. Jonathan's gay. What's my middle name? You don't have one. Incorrect, it's Jonathan. You know, it never seems to be too far from what you're thinking. Uh, I'm pretty confident with mine. You're, you have a wedding ring? I do. When did you get married? Uh, eight years ago. Eight years ago? Okay, all right, all right. What's your wife's name? Stephanie. Ooh, Stephanie could be Stephen. Because a lot of, uh, especially uh, substitute teachers, would read my name as Stephanie and get a big laugh from the class. F*** you, yeah? Right off the bat, Jonathan uh, kind of went after me because uh, I had a wedding ring. So Corbin is who I've had my eye on. Especially now he's, he's sat like that, but I find it more comfortable. I feel like it's hard to do this without stereotyping. Yeah. So we're going to have to just go off clever instincts here, Ryan. Who here has kissed a dude or been kissed by a dude? I've been kissed by a dude. I've uh, kissed a dude? Yes, I've been yeah. kissed by a dude. Who here has Wait, kissed what? a dude and liked it? Hold up. There's nothing wrong yeah, with yeah, kissing yeah. the dude. <laughs> There's nothing that? wrong with kissing the dude. Nothing wrong with kissing a dude. Who knows who won the Super Bowl? Was well, that, does that matter? I don't want to go. Ball? Oh. oh. Only person you asked a question to. <laughs> <laughs> has anyone here been mistaken for a gay person? Yes. And why do you think? <laughs> My sister thought I was gay for a long time. Yeah. Just because I uh, loved watching Alan Carr. Didn't you ever stand a bit about being a gay best friend? Oh, I did. I did. Yeah, no. Someone did say to me, uh, this girl that I fancied, that I was like her gay best friend. And, and I, what did you say? And I said, f*** off, Catherine, I'm not gay. This is tricky. It is hard. It is hard. The video. Oh. Have you ever seen a penis? I've seen multiple penises. Peni. Thank you, sir. Jonathan? How do you meet and date now? I'm kind of like just committing to like season of singleness, you know? Okay, nice. You know good job, I mean? good job. Nice little option for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what? Unlike Alton Towers, sometimes the season doesn't end. Climate change, mate. Sure. How's your relationship with your dad? It's fine. I play baseball with him. Sick. Why is that a question? <laughs> I play baseball with my dad. I'm not gay. <laughs> Have you ever had a threesome? I have not. I like. I don't. I don't understand it. Like, I gotta focus on one person. The lady. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. Wesley is actually uh, looking at his penis. Or like a spectrum. Um, is it current? There's a spectrum, but it has to be crossed. Are they gay? Well, Your man Jason's going after that. Yeah. See you later, Jason. He's the best looking man, Ryan. Probably, I would go. What's the, what, Franco? Oh wait, oh no, he's a bit dodgy now. Right? James Franco, gonna, Ryan. Gonna go James Franco, yeah. My f God. No, who would you have gone for? I mean, Jabby Alonso. Someone good looking like that. Yeah. James, James Franco. James Franco, no, he's got something about him. C aura. Yeah, yeah. Well, the yeah, aura. I know he's no, a bit odd, yeah. The yeah. aura. He's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst answer you could have given. Second to Kevin Spacey. And you trusted me 
even though you knew you shouldn't. I'm going to look at Wesley, look at the tattoo on his right arm. Right. Those are three stakes. Three stakes on his right arm. What could that represent? Meat. What could that represent? What does it all mean? Yeah, he loves me. Rare medium. The crucifixion. All right. Oh, different kind of stakes. It's embarrassing. I, I, know, I met a lot I mean, of gay Christians. Maybe uh, Moses parted my legs like the sea. <laughs> Let 10,000 men run through it. <laughs> in the Last Supper, not a chick in sight, you know? Mm. You know what really sucks about this guy is, is we became friends and now I feel like we're not. I'm suspicious of him. God give me strength. I do think it's going to be a dark horse this one. I do think he's going to come out. Oh, well, I've already made my made my bed now with Jason. What's the gayest thing about you all? Dude, honestly, <laughs> growing up, me and my friends literally just like poked our fingers up each other's butts. What like, the fuck? What? Like, what? Like, no hey, fuck. Really? I mean, hey, hey. We wow. don't do that enough, do we? Wait, no, no, we don't. Remember when we used to play hand puppets? Yeah. <laughs> Times. I've played raw ass with my mates, but not like that. Yeah. Me and my friends literally just like poked our fingers up each other's butts. Oh, like, oh, unless he means like with the pants on, it's just like, oh, you're know, like yeah, annoying yeah, someone. Yeah. I mean, worryingly, I went straight to naked bum. I'm Korean, and there's this thing called dong chim where it's like horseplay or whatever to like come up behind one of your friends and like stick your like finger up their butt like this. I think you worded that really badly. Yeah, yeah, he's really tense now. <laughs> gayest, gayest thing I've done? Probably just, uh, Fingered a few guys at once. Fingered a few of my mates. What's the gayest thing that you... I don't know, I went to school for theater. There you go. <laughs> That's, pretty That's that it? not <laughs> gay. Gay musical. Aren't all musicals gay? The theater is for everyone. It's for all. I think the gayest thing that I do is I love giving massages. And then sometimes when I'm massaging a dude, everyone's like, oh my God, are you gay? And I'm like, does it matter? You massage me quite a lot when I'm not expecting it. That's lovely, that. I feel like a lot of religious organizations kind of take that conservative approach where they're like, okay, you know, just uh, everybody's allowed in the religion, but you know, you can't. What was that? Everyone's allowed in religion, but you can Well, I think he could be gay. Don't be having sex with the men, please. There's been a tie. <gasps> what? Wesley and Evan. I don't like this game anymore. Can I go home? <laughs> <laughs> Evan's. Out of here! Looks a bit like they're on the show Mastermind. Chris M D was on that recently. Oh, I did see. <laughs> Had the same caption for him. <laughs> Straight. When Chris was on, they actually asked him about his uh, sexuality. Rump. Because he threw out the Muslim card. I don't want to be controversial. So therefore, no. he's trying to play it up, and then therefore he is gay is what you're saying. So the safe vote is to vote. Where was yeah. I born? That's what I was saying. Okay. Um, is this the immigration episode? No, I was no, born no, in no. Pakistan. <laughs> It's really not a good look. You handling should let you just caught him. <laughs> hey, where are you from? I'm excited to find out. I'm not sure about uh, Jonathan guy. There you go. That was, that's the, that was the strategy, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Can we talk about this for one second? Come on, continue the game, dude. Continue the game. Do you think it's one of these three? Of course, viewers at home, type away now if you think they're in. I mean, these are people that were all the top, you know, near the top of my suspicious list. Yeah. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. <laughs> Game's over. Oh, oh no. Oh. We won, you think? We won, I think we won. If, if you're not gay, we won. Hey. Oh, I told you. <laughs> yeah, they're straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. If I was Wesley, I would have just fingered their asses. <laughs> I was shocked. Oh, uh, old yeah. theatre boy. I told you about the gaydar thing. Yeah. I said that's something that's more prominent with gay people. Oh, uh, a gaydar's what gay people have. Nothing gets past me, I say. Yeah. I'm happy that I made it as far as I made it. Well done, Evan. The theatre is not gay. It's not. Time flies by in the yellow green. It's enjoyed that. It is time for five British people versus one fake. Okay. Remember guys, play along at home. I am British. I am British. Hmm. I am British. I'm British. I am. And I am Scat. One of these is lying. Yeah, I already know. The guy with the cap in the middle. Something about the way he said, I am British. I'm not a dual citizen, I'm a citizen of the UK, but I also moved when I was 12, and oh, cool. my accent, for the most part, I think I still sound kind of British. You sound like the most British person I've ever heard. <laughs> you know what, that'll be 20 monkey, please! Oh, I spent about four years in India, so I got a bit of that as well. He seems like he's got that British demeanour, a little bit shy. I've lived here for 
11 years, I'm from Liverpool. Hmm. I told Jeff. Jeff, he tries to dress him like a Scouse person. <laughs> get your shit and get the f out. I've been here a long time, so my accent kind of sounds muddled, but I'm a Scouser. That was very Scouse, but the rest of it wasn't. I remember you from back on the table to the Paulo crazy show, <laughs> fobbing yourself down. If he's from Liverpool, my family are from Liverpool, could he pass as one of my relatives? Yes. Look at the ears. Okay, I'm from Upper Norwood. I'm from Leicester and Wigston. Oh, okay. Wigston, that's right near uh, Oatby. Now he can't be an American. If he knows the outskirts of Leicester like that, no American knows that. This is tricky, Rhino. It is. I'm still putting my money on him at the moment. People assume because you're British, you like something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when One Direction was big, they're like, you're British, you like One Direction. I was yeah, like, I, I have heard maybe two of their songs. Or like Harry Potter. I mean, they're both massive in America. Yeah. I don't care how big they are! <laughs> I'm stuck, Ryan. Not yeah. seen much of this lady. His story at first kind of seemed like he was just making something up. She could be an actress. Because he didn't know his geography. Geography. It's geography, Rocco. You've put yourself back in the firing line. I was just shocked. I was a bit sheltered, but so I didn't know my geography very well. Geography as well. What is happening? Geography. Yeah. Go and have a talk to yourself on the sidewalk. I mean, pavement. Yeah. Assume everyone's from London. I'm yeah. like, no, I'm from Liverpool. They're yeah. like, oh, the Beatles. And they mentioned the Beatles. But <laughs> All these references, the Beatles, which is known pretty much anywhere. I want to hear about someone niche from Liverpool. Who's the guy that Cameron Green looks like? Times are hard and friends of you. Ta-da to f*** you. That's who I want to hear in reference. Not the Beatles. One time oh. someone asked me, are you from England or Britain? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get over it, lady. Well, that's because Americans don't know <laughs> geography at all. Omar, I think, is British. Probably the one solid because he called it geography. This lady on the far left, I'm not sure about Ryan. Obviously, growing up in England, um, you wear uniforms all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was lavender in the summertime with white socks. Yeah, you have a winter and, and summer, you, winter, uniform. summer uniform. We didn't have a winter summer. We had all mm. seasons garments. We had a winter summer, to be fair, in our last year. You're from a foreign planet. Fucking <laughs> Mr. Bean to my left. Oh. Out she goes. Fair. If you had to pick one item from the supermarket, what was it like your favorite item from that store? So, chocolate fingers. <gasps> Mmm, that's like a Cadbury's thing is something you get in America for like, during the British Isle. Have you ever seen the British Isle? So bleak. Why can we no longer think of the British Isles without the word pedof in front of them? I've never been to America. No, but you can see pictures, Ryan. We're not going to fly to America just to show you the British Isle oh, for the you, sake of a second channel video. You should, mate. We've got a green screen. There's the British Isle. Wow. <laughs> Do you guys like discos? The disco. Yeah, so the discos, the crisps. They're referencing niche crisps now. Discos I wouldn't have seen in America. No, they don't have discos. My God, they don't know how to dance over there. My initial suspicions. Michael. What? I don't know. <laughs> Just out of everybody. It's probably my accent. Like no, I'm from not even me. For me, it's between him and Rocco. What question would you ask Ryan to, to work out? What was your favourite show growing up? Yeah. If they were a really me. generic answer. I don't trust anyone. You could all be lying to me. <laughs> I think it's Michael. Could be Omar, because the thing I ruled him out for was that uh, mentioning of the that town. Unless he just said that. He didn't know what disco chips were. You mother <laughs> yeah. I'm really bitter about being voted out. Just because somebody doesn't know the same snack as you does not mean that their nationality should be questioned. He seems British. <laughs> <laughs> He's handled that appallingly. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know a lot about football? No. Like, do you know any of the teams in the Premier League? Well, I feel like his accent's very scarce when he says Premier League. Yeah. I think they've got rid of them all. I don't really watch too much at football, but if you grow up in England... You'll, you'll know about the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no. Gosh, this is hard. I had a feeling. Wow, I didn't expect any of these two to be left at the end. I think that's harsh on a... Do you feel confident in your choice? I do. Definitely. You're not the mole, are you? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Ooh, there's a lot of sweat under his cap. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, hey. Ah, hey. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. It's turning red. So, three, two, one. Hey! Oh. I told you my guy Rogo was straight. You were no, right, son. Three, two, one. 
Okay. Who's gay? Uh, British, <laughs> Who's British? You can't be British and gay. They're two different things, my child. I think it was her. Yeah, she's probably said the least out of everyone. Oh. He gave nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. boring! Should have just said it, Ryan. I studied, but not not the geography. I was looking at the map, but I didn't recognize. It. Well, 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 three holes in the ground. I can't keep doing the same joke. It's, it's, watch. It's like, it's like you've got Alzheimer's. <laughs> you said the same five phrases. So these British people. He was was it even British? Anyway, Ryan. Yeah. Another case cracked. Sold. I don't think we got any of them right. <laughs> <laughs> One week. Sign us off in a beautiful British way, please. I'm off to go and get myself some fish and chips and mushy peas. It's racist, isn't it? Stereotyping. Then swing by the old donkey sanctuary. It's different. Yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Let us know if you enjoyed this series. Uh, not series, just episode. And if there's any other videos you want us to react to, or take part in, get it in the comments, yeah? Anyway, I have been Stephen Tries, you have been... Ryan Annoying. <laughs> How's this for a massage, eh? <laughs> Shit. Oh, the equipment. Oh, sorry. Are you a secret gay man? No, no I it's don't not secret. think so.